Hi, today I'm going to show you how to replace the ink cartridges of an Epson Stylus SX405. Now, this is ever so simple, it can be done from the machine itself without the use of an attached PC or laptop. Now, unlike some inkjet printers that Epson have produced, you can't change the ink cartridges in this one simply by lifting the lid and waiting for the cradle to move along. It just sits there, as you can see. So, we need to move our attention over to the little screen on the left here. So, first of all, we need to get into the setup menu, which you do by pressing the screwdriver and a spanner button on the front of the machine. Once here, we use the right arrow key to move along one, then press OK to go into maintenance. From here, we go down three times. So one, two, three on the down arrow, and then OK. Your machine will now move the ink cartridge cradle to where it needs to be for you to access the ink cartridges. Now if you lift the lid of the printer, once again, it's quite a substantial scanner bed. Lift it up, you should be greeted with something like this. As you can see, the cradle has now moved along to the left, allowing us to get in there. Now, we open this up by pressing down on the grey bit at the top, and then lifting it up. It turns over like that. Now, to replace an ink cartridge, you're feeling it for the um, little clip at the back. So you press down, you should feel it come loose. You might need to pull up slightly. Then, the cartridge comes out. And then, we take our replacement ink cartridge, make sure any protective packaging has been removed. These quite often have like a pull strip there, something like a little clamp on the bottom. And then, pop it in. Press down. Some of these you'll hear a click when they're in position, but this one, not the case. As long as it's running flat across the top of all of the cartridges, you know it's in far enough. Then, close that cradle back up. Pop down the lid of the printer. And then we indicate to the printer that we're done by pressing OK on the front of the printer. The printer will then double check the ink cartridge, make sure it's happy and it can recognize it. You'll hear a few noises from the machine, as you can hear. And with any luck, after your machine has finished charging the ink, which is pulling the ink from the cartridge and getting it where it needs to be within the printer, you'll then just be returned to this screen and able to carry on printing. Now I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do let us know with a like. If there's anything else we can help with, please do let us know with a comment. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.